Oh, hello again, VK6CS back again. Um, it occurred to me that while I've got uh, got the radio test set handy, got a power supply handy, and got the 857 handy, it might be interesting to do some um, uh, some cable loss uh, tests. So all I've done really is I've got the um, I've uh, recorded some power levels into the uh, into the radio test set. Now all of the frequencies I'll be using the radio is set to 50 watts output and uh, except for 70 sems which is set to 20 and I just connected a very small tail uh, between the radio and the radio test set and I have recorded these figures so as you can see with a very small tail on 14.146 uh, we get 49 Point seven watts, uh, 28.6 we get 51 um, uh, and so on and so on you can see those uh, those figures there now you can see this little table I've made up so the next one's going to be the and this is an RG58 tail um, and the next column here is the RG58 long tail now that's the tail that's actually off of the Turlin HF antenna so that's the one we were using the other day in the car um, so I'm just going to see, I've just connected that now, and I'm just going to see what power readings we get with that. So see how much lossy the, uh, uh, the cable from the, uh, from the vehicle is compared with the little tiny tail. Okay, we'll start with one, uh, 14.146. So we can get that to focus on the radio test set. And you can probably hear Rolling Stone repeater in the background. There's Mel, VK6LC. Okay, so press the PTT. 47.5 watts. So on 14.146, you get 47.5 watts. Uh, so that's 47.5 47 watts. So. So we've lost a couple of watts there, so from 49.7 to 47.5, okay. So we'll go up to uh, the next frequency on the list, which is uh, 28.6. If I just go up like that. There's a 28.6. And I'll just press the T PTT again. That's what we get. Forty-seven point one watts. Okay, so that's forty-seven point one watts. So twenty-eight point six, we get forty-seven point one watts. Okay, so yeah, we've lost uh, you know we've lost uh, almost three watts there. Okay, so let's go to uh, fifty-one seven fifty. Fifty one seven fifty mm. forty six watts. Okay, forty six watts. Okay, so forty six watts. Uh, there we go. So, as you can see, as we're going up in frequency. 51.2 watts, 46 watts. So we've lost 5.2 watts there, just in that uh, in that in that feeder cable. Um, now uh, we go to two meters. Let's take that off there. And the higher in frequency you go, the more lossy it becomes, as you probably expect. Trying to do this with one hand, not terribly easy. But, uh, still, there we go. As I've said many times, this is amateur radio. So if you're looking for a polished production, you're looking in the wrong place. Uh, okay, so up to two meters. There we go. Uh, 147. So when I press transmit, that's going to go to 147.6. It's set as a repeater channel, and it will use the uh, uh, positive shift feature. Okay, 
So now we go over to here. And that's saying 40, 40.1 watts. 40.1 watts. And you can see the frequency readout at the top there. So press that, it'll auto tune it. And uh, ooh, there we go, 39.7 watts. I shouldn't have released the PTT, should I? Okay, so 39.7 watts. That's 39, 39.7 watts. Previously it was 48.4. So you can see that the higher in frequency we go, the more significant the loss through the cable is. And I go to 70 SEMS. Go to 433175. Press the PTT. And we're getting 12.7 watts. You can probably see that. 12.7 watts. Here. So that was 12.7 watts. So you can see, you know, there's a big difference between 12.7 watts and 18 watts. 18.7 watts. And so we're losing 6 watts just through that uh, coaxial cable going from the radio up to the antenna. Okay, well. I'm just going to pause this for a second, and um, this is, uh, as I say, this is RG58, and uh, I'm going to reconnect some RG400, uh, and we'll just see what the difference in loss is through that, that stuff compared with the RG58. So if you just uh, just bear with me, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, back again. Right, so now I've got some RG400 connected. I can only do this test on two meters and seventy sems. Um, because I don't have a PL259 to N adapter at the moment to uh, be able to couple the HF or the 50 mega HF output from the 857 to the RG400. But um, you know, with the lower frequency bands is going to be uh, um, a lot less. Uh, it's going to have a lot less effect than um, on the on the higher frequency stuff. So if, you, if it's a lot better on 2 and 70, it's going to be a lot better on HF. You can take that for granted. Okay, so we'll start with the 433175. Press the PTT. Okay, you, can you see that? That's 17.7 uh, watts. 17.6 watts output with the uh, with the RG400. So that's 17.6 watts. Okay, so you can see that you know, with a little tiny tail, which is about a foot long, the RG58 had 18.7 watts. With the length of cable that I use on my HF antenna on the car, 12.7 watts. That's RG58. Now, the RG400 is about half the length of the RG58, but um, even so, you can see that, you know, 18.7 18 watts, 17.6 watts, there's an awful lot less loss with the RG400 than there is with the RG58. So um, even, if it, even if it was twice as long and we lost another, uh, another one, one watt, um, it'd still be 16.5 watts instead of 12.7. So huge difference. Let's try it on two meters. Uh, so I go down. There we go. Go over to the radio test set. Yeah, there you go. And that's saying 45.3 watts. So that's with the RG400, 45.3 watts. So 45.3 watts. So you can see. You've got 48.4 watts there, that's with a very small tail, RG58. 39.7 watts with the you know, couple of meters or so of RG58 going to the antenna. And for, um, I don't know, probably, uh, actually it's probably three meters of RG58, it's probably two meters of RG400. You can see there's uh, 45.3 watts there, 45.3. 
so 48.4, 45.3, 39.7. So you can see that the RG58 is um, it's fine for uh, fine for HF. Doesn't seem to do too much to the uh, to the HF stuff. Um, but um, once you get up into VHF and UHF, you want to be using something a little bit better, especially if the runs are going to be longer than the sort of runs you'd find in a vehicle. So uh, there you go. It's RG400 and uh, RG58. A couple of uh, couple of comparisons there. Well, I hope you found that. Uh, hope you found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.